Welcome back Husky Nation to another exciting week of number five ranked UConn men's basketball. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get right into it. I'm Avery Becker. And I'm Noah Keaton, and this is Hurley's Hoops. Hurley and the Huskies have their dreams come true. The UConn Huskies took on the Kansas University Jayhawks on December 1st. It was quite a night for Tristan Newin, who had 31 points compared to Alex Carabin, who only had 10 points. UConn trailed at the half with a score of 38 to 31. For both teams, it was extremely neck and neck until the very last second until junior forward KJ Adams Jr. sealed the deal for the Jayhawks with two free throws at the end, eventually causing the Huskies to lose this game 69 to 65. It dropped UConn from a number four ranking to number five ranking and also snapped their recent undefeated streak. Kansas is now ranked number two in the nation after this game, whereas before they were ranked number four. So Noah, how do you feel like the team played this game? I mean, as you said, this game was neck and neck, very close game, but if UConn wants to capitalize on their opportunities, they need to focus on their three-pointers. I mean, they only made 39% of their three-pointers this game, and if they want to improve going forward, they need to work on shooting behind the arc. Going into the next game, on December 5th, the UConn Huskies went against the UNC Tar Heels, and UConn coming off a loss against Kansas, they had some big shoes to fill against number ninth ranked UNC, first in the ACC. I mean, UNC has been coming off of three wins against number 20 Arkansas, number 10 Tennessee, and unranked Florida State, all being decently good games for UNC. UConn had the lead going into the half by five points and never gave it up, winning this game by 11 points. Great win for the Huskies and great win for Cam Spencer, who had 36 minutes on the court, 23 points, and a 47 field goal percentage. We also saw Alex Caravan with 18 points, 38 minutes on the court, and a 57 field goal percentage. I mean, this was a great, great bounce back win for UConn. That brings us to our Hurley's Hoops Player of the Week, who is grad student guard Cam Spencer. Just as Noah mentioned, he had his game of the season versus UNC with 27 points, 7 rebounds, and 6 assists. He also played 36 minutes in the game, which was a season high for him. Cam Spencer has really acclimated himself as a UConn Husky and has been a key player in multiple games across this season. Yeah, he's really been a star player in this starting lineup. He's been averaging about 16 points a game. His Three-point percentage is about 40%. His field, he's been making just about 50% of his field goals. I mean, this guy, he's a solid, solid piece for the Huskies. And moving forward, he will be key if we want to repeat. Moving forward, the Huskies will face off against the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions on December 9th. This is the first ever matchup between the two. And Arkansas Pine Bluff is currently unranked and with a record of 4-6. and six. This gives the Huskies kind of a breather as they just faced two major opponents, one that we took a loss to. Tip-off is set at 12 p.m. at the Excel Center in Hartford, and UConn is currently undefeated at home. Should be a great game for the Huskies, and a fun one to watch. Earlier this week, the team announced that when they play Xavier on January 28th, they will honor the 2003-2004 to National Championship team at the Excel Center, which will also be a very exciting game to go to. That's all we have for you guys today. For the game this Saturday, we will have all coverage for you on the UCTV Sports Twitter and Instagram. But for now, I'm Avery Becker. And I'm Noah Keaton, and this is Hurley's Hoops.